Hello everybody and welcome to another pickup video. It's been a while, I know I say that a lot, but it really has been like over a month since my last pickup video. And in that time I've collected, I should say collected, I've amassed over 120 games uh, from the garbage. So everything you're gonna see in the next couple of videos is all gonna be from the garbage. I'm gonna try to break it up into smaller videos. Just so that you guys have a bit of a break, I don't think a lot of people can handle <laughs> um, a super long video. So I'm gonna try to break this up into like 10 minute section segments or 10 minute videos uh, so you can break them up and, and just watch them when, you're, when you want to or when you're able to. So with that being said, let's jump right into this and I'm going to try and separate it kind of based on when I got it, but to be honest, it's been a month. I can't even remember everything that I got and when I got it. So here we go. We're just going to run in at it. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, some hardware first. Uh, I found one of these uh, wireless uh, Xbox 360s adapters. These things go for a decent amount of money. So that will be a flip for me, which is nice. Um, I also found a DSi. Now you can see there the hinge is broken, but it does open. The screen is nice. It does power on. I charged it up and everything. It's just, you know, a little broken. So I don't know if I need to, if I'm gonna fix that or if I'm just gonna sell it as parts. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I haven't really decided what I wanna do with it yet. I could just replace the shell too. Ugh, is it worth the time and the effort? I don't know. I already have four or five DSs. I don't really need another one. Um, I found some 3D Blu-rays in the garbage. This isn't something I regularly find, so I, I like to bring them up here when I can. Uh, the first one I'm going to show, I thought I didn't have this, but it turns out I did. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 3D. A lot of people don't like this version of Spider-Man. I think it's alright. I'm not, I'm not a hater. Um, but yeah, 3D. That's a double. This one I didn't have, though. It's uh, the Green Hornet. Uh, it's got a really cool case uh, cover art on that, too. It's kind of like semi-transparent slash you can you can see through it type of thing um, it's cool it's a decent movie I think I've only seen it once or twice uh, so yeah all right I will show this off this is the one and only console cartridge game that I found uh, it is super ghouls and ghosts for the Super Nintendo um, I haven't tested it yet so I don't know if it works but these things are pretty robust. Chances are it will. All right, jumping into <laughs> some interesting games. All right, I got some 360 stuff. Now, mind you, in the games that I'm showing you here, these are just like, this is just the good stuff. Um, I'm not showing you like all the NHL 12s, NHL 13s, all that kind of stuff that no one really cares about. Uh, this is just the stuff that I think is somewhat interesting, so that's what I'm showing. Uh, and trust me, not all of it's that interesting anyway. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, that's complete. I'm not going to do complete on all these, but um, it's all there. I think it's actually the French manual, but whatever. No one needs manuals anymore. Um, <laughs> this is pretty interesting. Tiger Woods, PGA 13. Uh, I thought this had some value, but I don't think it does anymore. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens with that. These two I pulled out of like a wet garbage bin. Um, two about two copies of Battlefield Three. Uh, you can see they're kind of wavy. Uh, they're not too great, but I don't know if I get a dollar piece out of them, I'd be happy. Uh, Halo Reach uh, in a generic black case, but I got a bunch of cases uh, that I can use for replacements. So that is cool. Uh, this next little bit, I think those were all in kind of one bunch-ish, or a day or two apart, I don't remember. Um, this next set of games though, I did find all at once, uh, and I needed all of them, which was nice. Um, Lego Harry Potter, uh, years five to seven. Um, I have one to four, and was thinking I might look for this one, and here I happened to find it, so that was nice. Uh, Deca Sports Freedom. Um, so I got a bunch of Kinect games. I have a, uh, an Xbox Kinect for Xbox 360, but I have zero Kinect games. So it was really kind of nice that I got all these games for free. I don't have to spend any money on them because I don't think they're great. All right, uh, Kinect Sports, another one that seems okay-ish. Uh, Kinect Adventures, one I'm glad I didn't have to spend any money on. 
this is probably not great at all, but Your Shape Fitness Evolved, <laughs> the only other copy of uh, fitness or your shape fitness evolved that I have is for the Wii U just because it's on the Wii U this one I found actually last week it's pretty pretty uh, random but it's just the one uh, the getaway Black Friday uh, for PS2 that's pretty good that's the second one in the series uh, and then these four games I all found at once as well uh, Star Trek Encounters. I had to replace the case on this one because it was demolished. I don't know if that's going to come up on, on the other to kind of... You can see all the splits. Like, that's actually cut, like, or ripped or whatever along there and along there. But once you put it in the case, it looks alright. Uh, it definitely looks like the game had some encounters of its own. Um, Ghost Recon. Doesn't feel complete. It's not. Uh, Ghost Recon on PS2. This one's cool just because of the uh, the border around it. It's the Splinter Cell. Uh, the first one for PS2, it's got this EB Games thing, but it's just like a little slip cover. Like you can pull this out and make it regular, but I kind of like the, the look of it like that. Uh, that also has no manual. And then this was an interesting one. I've never seen this before, but I know the developer, Arxis Games, they do mostly like, um, like fighting games, that kind of thing. Uh, and it's Eagle Eye Golf for PS2. Uh, I don't know anything about that one. And then the one and only PS4 game that I found is Legendary Fishing. <laughs> I, I kind of like fishing games. I don't play them super often, but when I do, I, I want it to be fun. I have no idea if this is fun or not, uh, but it's kind of weird that this exists on PS4. So. I'm happy to have it for free, I guess. All right. Another piece of hardware here. This is probably where I'm going to end it for this video. Uh, just try to keep it in sections, and then we'll see how it goes. Um, I found a, a Nintendo Game Boy, and I wasn't sure if this worked, but it's got, like, tape and stuff along the edges holding the screen in. That's pretty common for these. Um, it does work. I did put batteries in it. I had to clean the contacts with uh, some vinegar to get the, the acid off of them. Uh, there was a little bit of leakage, but cleaned up just fine. Uh, tested it. It does work. Um, the speaker doesn't work, unfortunately. But if you plug in headphones, the headphones do work. So I think it's going to be, it's a probably a capacitor, capacitor or even just the speaker itself. Something's gone wrong with it, but whatever. Uh, but the most intriguing about this is when I pulled it out, I don't know if you can, that was in there. So at first I thought, you know, Game Boy or Donkey Kong, that's probably what it is, but nope. Pokemon Yellow, that's the one you want. That's the one everyone wants. So that is sweet to add to the collection for free. Haven't had to pay anything for it. Uh, I'm not super into Pokemon. I was gonna say Pikmin, but not super into Pokemon. Um, We'll see what happens to that game. It might stay in the collection. It might move on and uh, add some more money to my game collection. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Stick around for part two. It should be up hopefully soon in the next couple days. Uh, if not up already, if you're watching this a couple days late. Uh, I appreciate you sticking around and watching it. And uh, if you see me in the same shirt in the next video, it's because all this is getting filmed at the same time. <laughs>